Hey everyone, and welcome to a reaction to Assassin's Creed Shadows. Uh, I'm a bit late on this one because um, there's been a lot going on in my life. <laughs> so uh, busy, busy. But I promise you, when I eventually get a schedule down, I will be releasing some games for you all. I have an upcoming indie game that I'm going to play for you all. I've got a bunch of horror games planned. I've even got Alan Wake remastered, Alan Wake 2, and I'm hoping to fit in some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth if I can. I have not abandoned that game, I promise. But today, we are going to be checking out Assassin's Creed Shadows, a brand new game. And I've seen the characters that are in it, and one in particular I am super, super excited about because it's based on the real life black samurai called Yasuke. And here is a photo of him wherever I am pointing to or showing. To see him in Assassin's Creed is insane and so cool that we are going to be experiencing Yasuke for the first time. So I will say no more and we're going to jump right in. I am so excited for this one. family burns in the name of unification Nothing of the sea. The oceans fill with new ships. Wait. But they all come from the same river. Are they enemies? Greed. Got the chills. Wow. And you will you continue down that river? Or choose another path beyond what we see. And we must look for it together. Hmm. So he slaughters her village, but they're working together. Interesting. We must learn to trust. Rebuild. And follow the blade. Oh, I'm gonna have fun playing as him. <laughs> I said, who do you stop? Uh, 
We are the shadows. The music! That serve the light. <laughs> oh my god, November 15! Oh my god! Nao and Yasuke. Oh, I teared up hearing that music. Oh my gosh! Oh god! I didn't expect to tear up over the music. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, guys, I'm so thrilled. Oh, I'm so thrilled. It looked incredible. Oh, oh, I got teary. <laughs> Who are Nayo and Yasuke? Shall we find out? Let's find out together, guys. With our dual protagonists, we have two fantasies, the samurai and the shinobi. We want the player to experience both, and we cannot squeeze samurai both fantasies into one character because uh, samurai and shinobi came from a different social class. They have different lives, so we cannot really uh, mix uh, them together. The historical character of Yasuke presented a really exciting opportunity for the narrative team. We approached it in the same way that uh, so much of the work is done <sighs> in Assassin's Creed, which is really in terms of research and history first. Not a lot is known about him, but what mm -hmm. we did know, or we do know, is that he arrived in Japan in 1579, right when our game starts, mm. and that he had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting, like Oda Nobunaga, the Portuguese, mm. and Jesuits, which made it very sort of tantalizing and enticing mm. from a narrative perspective to come in and, and start weaving these facts with story in between. The more we read about the character, the more he was inspiring for us. He's a foreigner discovering Japan and we, we thought it's the perfect fit because he's discovering Japan and you are discovering Japan also. And on the flip side, we have Nawe who comes Nawe. Uh, from the province of Iga, which is a, a remote uh, mountainous area, fiercely independent, uh, known as she the birthplace cool. of Shinobi. So. They're very contrasting perspectives that really expose a lot of different sides uh, and facets of the era. When Oda came, uh, he completely destroyed Iga. We have Yasuke and Oda that coming to destroy the shinobi. Oh, so it can I just see. create this, so... this interesting tension between two characters. Mm. We were able to connect her to uh, the province of Iga and the legendary Igan shinobi historical figure, Fujibayashi Nagato, who's her, who's her father in the game. So we understand why she is, has the skills that she has and the values that she learns from her father in the people of Iga, which are valor, benevolence, and, and wisdom. And as a young person still at the start of the game, we get to see now we acquire even more of that wisdom as the story unfolds. No and way. if you ask anybody, it's super clear that Samurai will be combat heavy and a shinobi will be stealth heavy. Hell yeah. Create this distinction right away. Yasuke uh, can fight with all his advantage, uh, his stature, like he's, he's a big guy. I wonder if he, he gets can break pick. door, he can fight multiple enemies, he can break armor. Compared to Naoi, like her character and their, their outfit, it's it's really about being stealth, being unseen. She's mm. the only one with the Eden Blade, so they have clear advantage Ooh. that put them into the, the stealth and the combat, even if they can do uh, a bit of both. They're a really great pair together because on one side uh, we have Nawe, who's very intense and passionate and, and determined woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart on her sleeve and she'll say what she feels in the heat of the moment. And this intensity uh, that she brings as a shinobi, but that she also brings to her relationship. And this mm -hmm. balances very well with Yatsuke, who is sort of a, a thoughtful level head to Nawe's fiery passion. We really she thought does about seem cool. somebody like Yasuke, historically, who was able to come to Japan and have the life that he did there to mm. enter service for Oda Nobunaga and achieve all of the things that he did. Like, what kind of person would go through all of this? So our Yasuke is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, and respectful of this culture that he encounters. And that makes him a very nice sort of counterpart to Nawe. He's a bit mysterious as well, and that's something we get to see unfold as the game progresses. Right. 
so he's not on their side he's um, fighting those who were destroying her village so that makes sense oh wow I am definitely going to be playing that but I'm not confident that I'll be playing it on the day of release so I have a plan even though I said at the very beginning I had a ton of games planned including my like Alan Wake and Final Fantasy I made a promise to myself that once I finished Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and November's a while away so I'm sure I might have time to do so we'll see but I would love to leading up to Shadows to play Assassin's Creed from the very start from the oldest to the newest and I did do a couple of videos on Mirage but I kind of gave up on it because um, there were people saying not not spoilers but um, I did get spoiled at, at one point but a lot of people were saying how boring it was but I would love to give it another chance in future so that's my plan and if you want guys I would absolutely love to react to all of the cinematic trailers for Assassin's Creed because I've seen people like Meg Mage and Juliet react to all of the trailers so I would love to join in and be a part of that as well so if you're looking forward to that then stay tuned for that in future I <laughs> cannot wait because Assassin's Creed is just amazing I just I love it so much I just I cannot wait for this one to see how they portray Yasuke in this one it's so exciting <laughs> All right, everyone, take great care and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.